Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. I oversee the security of the Nellis homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. I wasn't the one firing the howitzers. If you want to see how good I am at killing savages, I can show you. Or you can accept Mother Pearl's invitation. It's your choice. As I said, she is our eldest. 
Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start, and has the wisdom of her age. She said that this day would come, and that any savage to reach our gate should be brought to her. Unacceptable. You've made it this far, probed our defenses, seen our faces. Mother Pearl's invitation is mandatory, not optional. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav... Uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hello. Hello. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider, but I have patience to tend to. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Well, I don't know, actually. I suppose it's possible. You should take a look. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around.
That was some fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. Hello. Yes, outsider? Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. Bye. Hey there, mister. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him, and I don't remember where. Oh, I remember now. I was playing hide and seek in the big hangar. Mr. Loyal made us leave, though. Thanks. Let me know when you find him. This is Mission Control, ready for liftoff. What's your 5x5? Five five? You bet I will. I'm almost old enough to fly in the VR sims. That'll be awesome. See you around, mister. Put up your dukes. I'm the red brick kid. You better believe it. I'll knock your block off. Don't get blown up! Hey, do you have any toys outside of here? I sure could use something fun. That is a neat idea. I'll be the spotter. I'll find someone to play the target. Hey, anything going on? Halt. You must pay the toll to pass. Very well, traveler. You may pass. <laughs> A dinosaur. Ooh, you know a lot about dinosaurs. Hey. I am La Fantoma. I will fly to the side of injustice. Yes, it has been a long time since La Fantoma had a good sidekick. Yeah, me too. Hi. Hi. Nice day we're having.
You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well... Whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Ask away. So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns, but the Overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Exactly. We haven't detonated any atomic warhead since before I was born. But besides that, it's a heck with nitpicky restrictions. Anything else you want to know? Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. Indeed, we do. Very impressive. Anything else you want to know? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know?
Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles, or learn how to throw my voice. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Don't get blown up. Hello. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Be sure to stop on back and let me know when the arrays are fixed.
Hey. Hello, outsider. Need something? An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Bye. Have you found Mr. Cuddles? Oh, thank you so much. I'll never lose you again, Mr. Cuddles. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Don't get my hopes up. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay, just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Hello. Good work with those solar arrays. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. If you're willing to take the risk, be my guest. I've got it set to broadcast a powerful signal at 24,000 hertz. Just place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach.
I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Maybe Pearl is right about you, because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well... Ah, uh, forget it. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out.
Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Very well. I'll take your word. When you say she isn't a threat to the tribe, I will allow her entry, if Jack will take responsibility for her. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Don't get blown up. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming, and not to shoot at her. I'm happy you came along. You are the answer to our dreams. I hear a troublesome legion camp got razed to the ground. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. I'm glad to hear it.
It's been a pleasure. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? I see. Well, thank you for trying. I'm off to go see my admirer now. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while, so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got razed to the ground. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Cool. How much can you spare? Hey, thanks! Later. Hey. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Ain't nothing creepy about it. It's a term of respect. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. 
Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. I've never been so happy in my entire life. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Thanks. This will just take a few moments. Okay. It looks like the valve from the cooker was a perfect fit. Here's the rebreather. Don't get blown up. Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts.
Hello. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me. And I will make it so. Bye.